What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to talk about Escape from Kylan. We have the most recent data mines, these ones are thanks to Boylan and uh, we have the new tags that are going to be required for you to complete Escape from Kylan. And uh, in this video not only we are going to analyze the different tags that uh, we'll have to face uh, next week but we're also going to talk about the biggest mistake that people did on the previous Escape from Kyle Tower and uh, something that you should definitely avoid this time. So we're going to break down all the information that you need to know in order for you to prepare. And as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure to share the videos with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Mouse Rifles content and make sure to smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so once again, thanks to Boylan, we got this. I actually tried to, to get these data mines a few days early, but they were not available yet. Thankfully, they are now available. And this information is also going to be on the blog next Friday. This new Escape from Kylan is going to be based on the previous Escape from Kylan that we had. Pretty much the same thing. So the 40 floors that uh, you had, you're going to have the same as well. If you guys were not here when that happened, you can check out my videos. Just go to my channel press here on the loop and just type Kylan and these videos are going to show you up. These are the two most important videos and uh, you don't have, you very important, just to get an impression on what you have to do. Now, speaking of Escape from Kylan, we have, uh, no, we're going to focus first on the tags, then we'll talk about this, the second more important part. Okay, so once again, all the tags that we had previously, we also have uh, this time. And uh, now we have a few new tags that on previous blogs, we already had a few of the mentions that they were going to be important. So you can see right here, Spider vs. Skill, Survival Tower, Cabal or Underworld, Survival Tower, and then we have Villain Bio or Undying, Survival Tower. So these are going to be the new floors of these new Escape from Kaln. So it's going to be the same 40 floors that we had in the past, plus six more with uh, two nodes for or two floors for each of these types spider vs skill cabal underworld villain bio and undying now people are doing a very big misconception that uh, you need uh, the latest and greatest the spider-man uh, pavitre or whatever the the spider society that you need spider society in order to complete this it's not the case that's already the first step on the biggest mistake that people made on the previous tower then we have cabal and we also have underworld and the world we use it in alliance wars cabal use it in cosmic crucible we already had the, all the characters unlocked for cabal so keep that in mind and then villain bio and undying now, if you go in game, if you take a look at all these tags, and you're going to try to do this as quickly as possible. So one of them is skill and uh, spider verse. So we have actually quite a few characters. We have Craven, we have uh, Black Cat, we have Ghost Spider, we have Spider-Man Noir. These were all characters that we had in the past. And remember, you only need three characters, three characters. Now, something that I want you to see on one of my videos from the previous Escape from Kylan is that you can, you can double tap the same node. You can double tap the same node. As long as you have three characters, you're going to be fine. You can double tap the nodes. And that's great. That's great because that means that you can use multiple teams in order to destroy your enemies. And uh, some of these characters that we are uh, taking a look at right now, they are pretty decent. They are part of the meta. Black Cat, part of Arena meta. Spider-Man Noir, part of Cosmic Crucible. Craven, Cosmic Crucible, Alliance Wars. The same goes for Kingpin. Ghost Spider now with a rework. She was met in the past, uh, part of the Web Warriors. So it's very, very likely that you're going to have two or three, three, it's, it has to be three. Three very powerful characters. Now, very, very important. 
Just because you don't have the latest and greatest does not mean that you cannot beat the nodes. Once again, taking a look at my video, not only you can one shot, you not only you can double tap on the same node, you don't have to use the characters that everyone else is using. So it was very popular from the envoys because the envoys, they are always cheating. They are always using the test server to get advantage for themselves and to their alliances. And they have these tricks that they're using on the test server. And on the test server, they already knew that uh, the symbiotes were going to get a rework. So before anyone else, they gear up their own uh, symbiotes. And they used those symbiotes on the escape from Kyle to complete uh, the last uh, floors. The floors where you needed Bio and Villain or something like that. Now, you don't have to do this. There were other options that uh, you could use. Some people were using Moonstone. Other people were using Titania. Other people were using Zombie Juggernaut. Other people were using Blizzard. So once again, like, don't fall into this trap that, oh no, if I don't get up these very specific characters, I'm not going to be able to beat it. The biggest secret that you can take from the previous Escape from Kyle and from what you are seeing right now on the screen is that depending on which characters you are using, depending on your ISO weight, you might be able to complete these floors without once again having the latest and greatest characters. The ISO weight for this specific game mode is extremely important, extremely important as having or healer or a fortifier on some characters so they have the drain might compensate spending that iso to level 4 or level 5 might be better to do it rather than spending 20 million gold plus on a new character or even if it's 10 million gold i think spending that kind of resources is is more problematic spending the gold training materials and gear over just switching the ISO weight around and so on. So once again, don't make the, don't go and rush to buy these characters, wait for the event to show up. Even if you know the enemies, the enemies have modifiers that change how they behave. So in the last hour, there was, as you guys can see, one apocalypse that he did not behave like the normal empowered apocalypse. So that means it was a lot easier and that means you could use different characters in order to beat it. So keep this in mind. Don't go buy the new characters just because there is the new tower coming. And don't start leveling up characters to max level or anything like that until the event is live and until you give time for people to test it out and see which are the best teams, compositions, and also the best ISO weight based on the different modifiers that the enemies have. Because once again, even if you know the kit of Apocalypse or if you know the kit of Super Scroll, many times Scopely changes those kits or changes the mechanics in order for them to create a different challenge. Sometimes easier, sometimes harder, but that's why we have to wait and see and not to spend too many resources on the characters. Now, taking a look at the tags that we have, once again, Skill Spider Verse, we can already see on the screen. Now, we also have Underworld and Cabal. And Underworld, we already have Kingpin, which is also a skill and uh, Spider-Verse, so he's already part of the other tags that we are taking a look at. In terms of these characters right here, we have three characters that are definitely important in Alliance Wars, Taskmaster, Kingpin, and Mr. Negative, Nobu and Gin Goblin, not as important, but once again, we don't know for sure. Maybe using Nobu is gonna be important because he gives the death proofs and counters to everyone, and you might be facing a Morgan of Fae or some character like that, and uh, the, those counter attacks will destroy the enemies rather than uh, so the, the enemy will destroy himself rather than you having to destroy it so keep this in mind so these are the underworld in terms of uh, cabal we already have cabal here on the screen taking a look at them these are important for cosmic crucible right now might be important for for other game modes as well but once again remember that uh, you have more than three characters. You have a total of eight characters. So that means you can do two teams and that means you can double tap the node. So keep that in mind, the node or the, the multiple nodes that we face. 
On my previous tower, I had to use uh, one team uh, with Archangel, but then my Archangel died, and then I used Gambit uh, and Cyclops and something else. So keep this in mind. You can use multiple teams to clear the floors and to sack, even sack the floors. Okay, so now for the last, uh, the last uh, tag that we have, we have a Bio Villain, which is the same as the last floors from the previous tower. So bio villain, that's going to be your uh, uh, juggernaut. That's going to be your uh, super scroll. And uh, one situation that we might have with super scroll is that we might have to use him as a fortifier or even as a healer because he takes so many turns. That means he's going to heal up and apply generation to different characters. So once again, this is going to depend on which kind of enemies you are facing and which mechanics they are using. So those are the, all the bio villains we have. Once again, we have so many characters. We have over 15 characters. You can use multiple of them to destroy the enemies. And then the last tag is Undying. So we have bio villain and Undying. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. You're not gonna use Hela because we already know that in one of these nodes, they have Hive Mind with Carnage and uh, the other scene builds as well. So it's very unlikely that uh, using Hela is gonna be to your advantage, but who knows? Maybe the passive from Carnage will not be activated. And that means that uh, even if the Greg dies, they are not gonna get speed water. Very unlikely. But once again, this is why you should not go and rush to unlock these characters because we never know when, how they work. And it's just better to wait and see even having these tags, like I can give you right now uh, the, the best teams for each of the floors. But once again, it doesn't matter because we don't know for sure if they have modifiers or not. And once again, the be the worst thing you can do is go buy characters or go spend your gold and training materials for something that you're not gonna show you're not gonna be sure if it's gonna work or not. So once again, don't make the biggest mistake that people did. Uh, on the, the previous escape from Kylan, because using Venom and Carnage, those characters were extremely expensive and you had way cheaper options. And just because the envoys are on the test server or whatever, does not mean that they are correct on their approach. But I'm gonna let uh, the video go here. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this topic. And also let me know if you're excited for this escape from Kylan or not. Can you guess which is the character that is going to get diamonds this time? Once again, and let me know all of that in the comments below and as always if you like the information on these videos make sure to share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more mouse life force content and i'll catch you guys later